everyone, I'm gonna show you how to make this hand-built cup while also making your own decorative roller. Let's get started. So here are some examples of decorative rollers we have in the studio. Um, but if you're looking to make something more customized, then this is the video for you. So we are gonna do essentially the same thing here as make a tube out of clay and carve into it. So to get started, you're gonna roll out a slab of clay using the slab roller by hand and compress it down on both sides. Then you're going to cut your clay to fit the size uh, cardboard tube that you have selected for your project. And please ask an instructor for these tubes. We do keep them in the studio. Now here you'll see I've cut my slab, or I've left my slab quite thick. This will make it easier to carve into. The second one I'm showing you is too thin. I suggest cutting this with right angles as much as possible. That way it's easier to match it up when you've got it on the tube. So when you're wrapping clay around these cardboard tubes, you need to wrap paper first. This will ensure that your clay comes off the tube because remember, as your, as your clay dries, it shrinks and it will get stuck on your tube and you'll have to cut it off to remove it. So this clay is wet enough that I can just wrap it around, cut it to fit the size and kind of smudge the clay together. Um, I find pressing it together with my fingers first and then using my pony roller gives me a nice even edge. And I even use the, ro the cardboard roller itself to roll the clay around to make sure that my surface is nice and smooth. I then just trim up the top um, just so I make sure I have a nice even um, roller that I'm using. I compress it down, making sure everything else on the surface is smooth and take your time here. You want a nice even cylinder. Once you are comfortable with how your surface looks, you are ready to remove the tube and then set this clay off to dry to leather hard. You see how using the paper allows the tube to come right out? and it's easy to remove the paper. So let this dry. Once you get to this leather hard stage where the clay can be carved into but won't move when you touch it, that's the right stage to, to start your carving. Now you can carve into it, you can stamp into it, whatever you're comfortable with, um, depending on the design you want, but I am going to both stamp and carve on this piece. So this is just a little example. So I'm going to actually use the end of a marker to push these um, little circles into because trying to freehand a circle is very difficult. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go the whole way around and cover this tube to create a repeating pattern. If you're not comfortable freehanding and there's a specific design that you want, you can also draw it on paper and then transfer that onto your tube using a pencil and drawing lightly. Once I've pressed in all of my circles, I'm then ready to start carving into it. I need it to be deeper than what I've pressed in. So I'm going to take my needle tool and just trace the circles that I created. Now here you'll notice that the clay is still at a consistency that keeps these little clay boogers on. Try not to brush them off, leave them alone. If they're flaking off, you can brush those away. But if they're sticking, leave them alone. Now I'm finding as I'm carving, the clay is sticking. So I'm gonna leave it to dry a bit more just to make it easier. Um, now it's ready to carve into it more. And you'll see clay is, less, is not gonna stick as much. I've also switched to a metal or a wooden kebab skewer and that seems to be working a lot better, burnishing those edges. As I'm carving, I can use a little bit of clay to just see what's happening with my roller and rolling it on clay or sticking it with clay will help remove a lot of those clay boogers. I am now adding more um, interest to my piece by adding these little dots in between the circles that I created and adding some lines to connect them. Um, again, just creating a continuous repeating design. Continue to carve into your piece and then leave it to dry 
one more time past the leather hard stage. So do you see how dry this piece is? Now it's gonna be really easy for me to remove those clay boogers and give a little more definition to those lines that I created. I'm also using uh, this tool to scrape off anything that has raised from carving into the clay because I want my surface to be smooth on the outside. I moved my piece onto um, a sponge just to make it easier to get into those little tiny crevices, but it's not necessary. Now I'm going to test out my roller on a piece of scrap uh, clay just to see what the design looks like if I need to fix any. And then I can see here that there are two dots that just are not um, forming in the clay. So I'm going to roll it back and see which one that is and just fix it up. Once you're done carving, you're just going to stick this on the shelf to be bisque fired and that's the end. You don't have to put it in any other fire and you want to keep it at bisque. Thanks for watching. Bye.